Alright, back to it. That roller boy has uh, resumed the position. And we have resumed our trek up this building. Gotta love all the graffiti on the wall. Look, an arrow pointing to a staircase. Ooh. Come and get some. We're gunning our engines. Ryder Raylene. You can tell she's a rider because she has a cowboy hat. Also that she has a do duo. She can't really ride her Luddy Bah. I think I should probably just focus down Doduo at this point. Ladyba has early bird, probably, so... Uh, probably not a good idea. Hey, nice. Uh, probably not a good idea to put Ladyba to sleep. Besides, it won't be doing a whole lot, I don't suspect. A bird! Up. I do not remember what Swablu's ability is, although I don't think it's going to be early bird, so I'm going to call Yanma and uh, put Swablu to sleep. Is that the next threshold, or are we just barely above it? Alright, Yama, what you got for us? Okay, yep, not not quite at the threshold yet, so we still got a little ways to go. And Somersault! Dang, it didn't even need to be in uh, hyper mode to get that crit. Look, trust me, that's that Swablu was asleep, I promise. Here he comes, or she comes. That was a crit, too. Yeah, that's about right. Alright, get him, boys. Somersault. That ladybug sure was a ladybug. Anyway. I only lost because I didn't have a shadow Pokemon this time. You just got lucky. Next time we battle, I promise I'll use one. I just wanted to be good as you. Uh, all I ever wanted was to be the very best. I battle for fun too, actually, but against you is a different story. Heck, I know everyone wins and loses at some points. I even accept my losses without giving up. I show true pride as a guardian. Hey, lady, I'm already in a different battle. You can stop quoting uh, everybody's favorite uh, role player. We're all good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Yanma's unlocked Sonic Boom. It's not going to be super good, but I guess if we want fixed damage, we have it. Let's throw on its little wiggle. Gonna sap some of that health from uh, Sfeel. Hell yeah, that's a crit. Here he comes with the chomps. I'm sorry, with the headbutt that resembled a biting attack, I guess. Look at this feel bounce up and down, or back and forth. This is gonna hurt a lot. Woo! Alright, I'm gonna take care of that Sfeel right here now, but Yanma, I'm gonna switch you out for... Let's go with... What's our heart gauge here? Getting close and getting close. Oh, Kalava has Flame Wheel now, by the way. So, we have a fire move, which is kind of good. 
I'll switch out into Quilava. And I'm gonna hope that Snow Runt doesn't have, like, Powder Snow to hit Skip Bloom. He comes. Flame wheel. I'm gonna sap some of that health. Back to full health. And here he comes. Can't believe Quilava just killed the TP. So admit it, my Pokemon are decent, huh? Even though they can't win. Anything in here? Does not look like it. Just a bunch of uh, shelves with a bunch of apparently difficult books. We got a revive. Nice. My Pokemon can dance with elegance even in a dump like this. This isn't a dump. This is just homely. A dish, a dish. Probably should have healed Yanma before this. Uh, I'm not expecting any problems with, uh, with Horsey. I'm sorry. I'm not expecting any problems with Oddish here. So, Yanma should be able to uh, assist in taking out this horsey just fine. Actually, now that I think about it, this might not kill. Okay, good. True. Oof. That's a strong move for an Osh. Have oh, 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 there he goes. One thing I do appreciate about Colosseum is that when a Pokemon is low on health, you don't get the annoying, like, sound that plays whenever you are in red health. Give me that health. Oh man. Alright, I'm expecting Yanma to go down this turn. Yeah, off regular scratch, that's about right. We'll send out Quilava again. Get him, Quilava! Man, just gunning for that thing, which is quad resistant. I mean, I guess in both cases it was quad resistant, but still. Yanma was, like, really low on health. Carl could have gunned for him and took him out a lot sooner than he did. Rolling start! Dancing alone doesn't win any battles. Oh, that's why she had Petal Dance. She's basically Tierno. She has dancing stuff. Oh, whoa. Alright, I'm gonna go heal. I have a revive, but... It's, it's gonna be useful later on, so... Do I need to use it now? It would definitely save me the trouble of walking back and forth, but... Excuse, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, thank you. Now 
Now what compels someone like you to come here just for the sake of getting thrashed by me? I'm sure a number of people would love to get thrashed by the bodybuilder, the female bodybuilders in this game. Hey now, that's not too cool of you to say. I'll leave now. Alright, uh, we'll have... I, I believe the primary target here should be the tentacle, so we'll just use a couple of shadow rushes. Incoming somersault! And I don't believe Skip Plume will be able to put the nail in the coffin here. Oh, wow. I keep underestimating exactly how much attack Skip Plume has. Maybe it's also because of Shadow Rush being a base 90 power move, but... Yeah, Skip Plume's attack is not the greatest. Oof, that did a lot. Cacnea does have some pretty good attack and special attack, so no matter what it did, if it wasn't resistant, it was going to do a fair bit of damage. Alright, let's just go for more Shadow Rushes, I guess. Flip! Once again, I am not confident that Skip Plume's Shadow Rush will take it out. But let's find out. My goodness. Look at it. What, does it have like an adamant nature or something? You turned the tables on me. Which reminds me, now that Skip Plume's heart gauge is basically all the way empty, uh, we can check out what, like, all the new information about it. It's got chlorophyll as an ability, we knew that. It is lax nature, so I believe that is actually a, uh, a neutral one? If not, then it is, like, one of the defensive buffing ones. Um, Yanma, docile, so that's a neutral nature. Fluffy is timid, so it's, uh, gonna be faster but has lower attack. Pulava is quiet. I think that is up special defense, lowered special attack, maybe? And Makuhita is naughty. I think that's attack up and defense down? Or was it special defense? No, special defense is... No? I was thinking of naive. Never mind. Um, yeah. I think naughty nature increases attack. That's what I'm getting at here. Alright, well, let's keep going. Anything here? Nope. Really? Excuse me. Hello. Oh, you fine gentleman, you. Um. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna go all the way back down. I should have done this before, but I'm gonna go save. Because up in that room, there are actually a couple of shadow Pokemon to, uh to encounter, and I'd rather not miss the chance of, uh, like, making them faint, because this, I think, is the first instance of a Shadow Pokemon that you can... Well, no, second. I think Kane... Kane? That was his name? With the Furret? I think Kane was the first instance of, uh, being unable... Oh, no, it was Kale. C-A-I-L. Uh, first instance of a Pokemon being, uh, missable. Because the dual square guys could uh, be fought again. I think you could fight Trudely again. Uh, the mystery troop you'll be able to fight again later. But yeah, upcoming, you will not get another chance to get the, these next shadow Pokemon. Hello again. Oh, why'd you guys keep, like, walking back and forth? That's weird. Darling, aren't you one of Duking's people? What made you think you could simply waltz in here? Such a silly boy. Ugh, where's Mayor B? I'm taking him down. Take him down? After the beating you took? That's too funny. <laughs> you wait, I'm gonna drive all of you out of this town. In my car that I have. <laughs> oh, such a feisty boy. Don't tell me we have to take your Pokemon hostage to make you settle down like we did with Duking. What? How the hell did you get in here? We seem to be getting a lot of unexpected company lately, but that's no excuse for being a bad host. 
Mirror BP on, excuse me, Mirror BP on, Wreath. I heard him say, guess this ain't your lucky day, Wreath! Now, something interesting about this, uh, this set of Pokemon. We got a Spinarak that's level 33 and a Rimmeraid that's level 20. Yep, that Rimmeraid is a Shadow Pokemon. I think he has more than 20 HP, in which case, yeah, I'll just do this. Oh yeah, safe. Safe damage. Speeding up, look at him go! Alright, I'm gonna start chucking balls, but uh, I'll also start attacking Spinarak there. I believe a Pokeball should be enough to catch that Remoraid. It's asleep, it's decently weakened, and I believe Remoraid has a, a good catch rate. Maybe not a great catch rate, but a good one. Hey, all right, there we go, not bad. Love disc. With your little smoochy lips. Here we go, flip. Ooh, that's some solid damage coming out. I would have preferred it to be on uh, Skip Plume so I could heal off that damage with Mega Drain, but oh well. Hey, there's Hyper Mode. What's up? Gotta be the fastest things on the field, huh? Well, it's a shame for you, because my Yama has speed boost. Dude, I really need to take out that spinner rack soon. I'm pretty sure Love Disc is gonna try is gonna aim for Yanma. In that case, no matter what I really do here, Yanma's going to uh, be in a spot of bother. So I'm gonna call him. I can't heal him right now. And right after this fight with this peon, uh, I'm gonna go into another fight. So I really can't stick around. But what I am gonna do is call Yanma. He might faint this uh, this coming round against Love Disc. Uh, but, hey, there we go. But I also want to take out Spinarak, which I saw Skip Loom is still faster than, even after that agility. And now, okay, Yanma has learned his last move, which is Uproar. Now I can use a potion on Yanma, nice. And Skip Loom just Mega Drain it. Smooch, smooch, smooch. Man, it is not accurate. Get him! Ah! Nah! Nah! It's probably counterintuitive to c continue using Uproar when I have a Skip Plume out on the field. How did that happen? Unbelievable. Uh, because Skip Plume has Sleep Powder, and while Uproar is going on, I don't believe any Pokémon can sleep. My Pokémon couldn't muster a thing. You're no ordinary trainer. Were you hired by Duking as his bodyguards? Let me warn you, if you mess with us, you'd better be prepared for the consequences. Mirror BP on Firma. Mantine and Apop. Hey, look, a Remo Raid. This was back when uh, 
Mantine still had Remoraid uh, as part of its, like, identity. Later on, the, like, future sprites and models would remove the Remoraid from Mantine, but this is back in the day where Mantine was still kind of attached to Mantine. Uh, I hope I said Remoraid was attached to Man Mantine and not what I was assuming I said. Either way, uh, I am going to put Mantine to sleep. Then I'll start pelting him with, uh, some Shadow Rushes afterwards. But for right now, just trying to get some, uh, damage clocked on Apom. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oof. That did some solid damage. Alright. I will actually switch out Yanma. I'm gonna send in Umbreon just so he can take some hits. And... Sleep Powder. One more once. How dare you? Probably both Gun and Four Yanma. Also, Mantine and Skiploom must be in a speed tie or something. I will secret power. Maybe I can get a better status affliction on Napalm that way. And I guess I'll actually Cotton Spore Mantine so I can make sure that uh, Skip Bloom is going to be faster from here on out. Oh, that's unfortunate. Also, Umbreon is at a pretty nice uh, value for his health. Uh, let's bite. That's going to finish him off for sure. Get him! Dead. That Bishatin didn't know what hit him. Hey, what's up, Furret? Got a lot of speedy boys. Uh, I'm a Snatch. And... Skip Plume? You can heal off a little bit of health against Furret. I'm gonna take that. Not much of health, but yeah. Uh oh, who's he hitting? Please don't be Skip Loom. Aw, oh, man. Uh, I'll snatch again. No, I should do some damage. We'll, uh, we'll secret power on Furret. Mantine doesn't really do a whole lot of damage overall, so. I'm not particularly worried about Mantine, is what I'm getting at. Also, I was hoping for a, uh, a status affliction on uh, Furret with Secret Power, hence why I did it, but... Here he comes! Oof, really doesn't like Skip Loom. On this turn, I'll go ahead and heal Skip Loom. I'm gonna hope to break through Confusion. And I'll just sleep powder Mantine again. Okay. And okay. I love that Mantine is always biting his lower lip. 
All right, uh, Mega Drain on Furret because it's got plus one defense, so even Shadow Rush won't be doing a whole lot of damage. Nom nom nom. Do that again. Phew. Don't hit yourself, please. Excellent. Jump. Been a little bit since we've actually earned experience within the battle, so this is Umbreon's first, like, foray into that in a while. Wow, a Yanma! Ain't that weird. It's also level 33. That's weirder. Alright, so what I'm gonna do here, um, I'm not sure what Yanma will do, so I can't really guess, but I'll snatch anyway, and I will send in Fluffy. Okay, he was trying to finish off Skip Loom. I can respect that. Somersault. I'm a taunt Mantine for a second, just so he uh, doesn't try to, I don't know, confuse Ray somebody again, or Supersonic rather. Meanwhile, zappy zap! Nice. Now, Mantine is very specially defensive. So, I'm actually tempted to just use Thundershock on it. I realize it's not a good idea. It's quad weak to electric. And there's always potential for crits. So I really shouldn't do it. At the same time, he's gonna take a lot of hits. Well, she's gonna take a lot of hits to get weak enough. All right, this should take out Fluffy if, he, if she's still aiming at it. Yeah. Uh, and stretch. Uh, Makuhita, I guess. Do some, uh, do some physical damage to it while I just huck Pokeballs with uh, Umbreon. We'll use a Great Ball, first of all. And Makuhita, you can Shadow Rush. Okay, sick. Bum bum. What just happened? Unbelievable 2! Electric Boogaloo! That's my favorite movie of the season. Wreath, let's make ourselves scarce for the time being. Righto, Firma. Ultra Super Fire Dash! I'm disappointed there weren't any fire trails. Hi, Silva. Man, what's it like to suck? Ugh, ow! That burn hurt! You saved me. Do you people know duking? Never heard of him. Why would you help me? You do know duking, don't you? Doesn't sound familiar. You do know duking, don't you? Mmm. Can you spell it for me? Does he have a brother? Am I his sister? Wait. No, I, I still don't know him. Okay, I'm a fool. I didn't know what was happening at all. They'd taken duking's Pokemon hostage. How could they do something so downright dirty? That's why we're here. We came to rescue Plusle. I'm going too. Ow, ow, ow. Not in your condition. You'll have to wait here. Ho, ho, ho. We meet again, kitties. Mirror B, you cowardly cheat. 
Cowardly cheat? That's so not true. Taking a hostage is perfectly fine as a bargaining tactic. Call that a tactic, plus it better be okay. Oh, the darling couldn't be any safer if it tried. I'm sure it will come to adore me before too much longer. You've gotta be kidding, where is it? Give it back. Ho ho ho, no running or hiding from me. Come to the cave, that's where I'll be. I'll be waiting for you, my pretties. Ho ho ho. Alright, well, we just gotta go to the cave. And here's an iron file. We got iron file S. Shadow Pokemon. A shadow Pokemon is a Pokemon that has been made into a fighting machine by artificially shutting the door to its heart. What we didn't know is that the shadow Pokemon exude a dark aura that can't normally be seen by the human eye. Unfortunately, a girl with the ability to see the dark aura has been a problem. Excuse me. Has been discovered. This is a major problem. The girl could become a huge obstacle for our shadow Pokemon plan. A solution to this threat is urgently needed. Shadow Pokemon Lab, Chief Ein. If we come down here, we get access to this elevator. And this is just a quick access to the first floor where we get a, a an item, or a series of items, three hyper potions. And B, we get easy access back to the PC and the, uh, the this. Do, 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 do.